Taylor K. Keen. And in this video, I'll be showing you a three bedroom property in Southfield, St. Elizabeth. If you are interested, like the video, subscribe, and keep watching as we go inside. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so what you are looking at is a three bedroom, two and a half bathroom property. This house also contains a basement that was made to be a storage room, but can be converted into a fully self-sufficient studio apartment. As soon as you enter the property, you will realize that the developer is very tech savvy as the gates are remote control as well as the garage. Now let's take a look at the garage. It can also double as a laundry area and has already been fitted with a wash tub. So that's the garage, but we're going to enter the house from the living room. So this is what your front veranda looks like. And we are going to take a look inside to see if you like this property. So you're now looking at the open concept living room and kitchen. And please remember to share feedback about what you think about this property with me in the comment section. All right, let's take a look at the back patio as well as what your view will be like from the back of the property. And if you have not done so already, please remember to like the video and to interact with me in the comment section. In addition to that, I would appreciate if you would subscribe to my channel. We are now heading back into the living room from the back patio to take a look at this door that we pass. Now, this is the door that leads from the garage into the living room, but there is also a powder room there that I want to show you. So this is a powder room that your guests will be able to use, whether it is that they are in the living room or they are entering the property from the car porch. We are now back inside of the kitchen and we are going to take a look at the bedrooms that are located on the other side of the house. Now these bedrooms are almost like mirrors located across from each other so let's take a look inside and you can let me know in the comment section what you think about the finish 
i quite like it let me know in the comment section if you agree with me or if you do not agree with me So that was bedroom number one. Let's now take a look at the shared bathroom between this bedroom and the other one that's across from it. So that is a shared bathroom. Now let's take a look at bedroom number two. So one feature that this bedroom has is a linen closet. That is just a small closet there. I guess you can add shelves if you so desire. But it also have it the regular closet space for your clothes over on this side so this is what it looks like similar layout to the one before except it has a linen closet now let's head upstairs to look at the primary bedroom its balcony and you can let me know what you think in the comment section now spoiler alert i quite like this bathroom it might be my favorite place in this house but you can let me know if you agree or disagree with me in the comment section we're looking at the balcony here first this is actually one of the balconies for this bedroom it allows you a rear slash side view as well as a front view of the property so this is the side slash rear view uh, balcony and then i will show you the other balcony when we get inside but just look at the details and let me know what you think about them in the comment section i like when you comment on the video so we can talk and you can tell me what you like so i can know which properties to cover now this primary bedroom has a double closet i guess for his and her so quite spacious in terms of how to store your items of clothing now this is what it looks like very spacious but let's take a look at the bathroom So that's the bathroom let's now take a look at the front patio
so we are about to head downstairs to look at some special features of this property but before we do that i forgot to show you that behind this door is a linen closet so yes that is a little additional space to store your sheets and towel that i wanted to point out to you let's now head back downstairs and i will tell you about all the special features that this property comes with as well as show you the basement all right so we are back downstairs let us look at the special features of this property special feature number one is the fact that this property does have a tank that goes underground that will help you to store the precious commodity for times of drought. Special feature number two is the fact that this property also has a water heating solution that will help you to have hot water at all times through this solar panel system. The third feature is this fully solar powered light that is an outdoor light that comes on in the night but it will not require you to pay the Jamaica Public Service Company. So we're now going to go downstairs and look at the basement. As I said earlier, while the basement was made for storage, it can be used as a self-contained one bedroom flat. for watching future millionaires remember to like the video share it with a friend and don't go just yet i have other interesting videos on the screen just for you